flaws. So if you ever wanted to like perform encryption to just your home drive or uh, like whether you have been searching for uh, having your home directory in a more secure manner. In newer versions of system D, you have a module built in for that. It's called home D. So if you do like uh, sudo systemctl enable systemd if you do that it's going to enable systemd homed for you so for me it's already enabled so what this allows you is to create like uh, basic idea of uh, this thing when it was implemented was like uh, the traditional system in most Linux distributions are like relying on the Etsy password system or the Etsy shadow system. So in order to reduce their lands on that and also in order for you to have like a portable home directory uh, which is more secure like imagine a scenario where you are um laptop have been stolen while it was like suspended not fully turned off like suspended state so if you do that like if uh, something weird like that happened to you your home directory is accessible to the person who have uh, stolen your laptop or your device so you can protect your home directory by using systemd homed by creating a user with systemd homed. So without too much of jibba jabba, let me like show you how it is done. So you can use home CTL command and you can create a user by typing home CTL. Let me increase the font size a little bit. So home CTL create followed by, you can type the username. So for example, I don't have uh, like, let me open up uh, the file manager, file browser for me. So if I go to my file system and if I open up my home directory over here, I just have one user. You can see like apart from the root user, I just have only one user. So I'm going to keep that like, let's keep that somewhere over here so that you can see this happening in real time. So we are going to create a new user with uh, this systemd homed. For that we can use this home CTL create followed by the username. So let's type something like uh, user2 or something. So it will ask you for the password for the new user. So you just enter that and since we didn't use sudo it's going to ask us password again so right now you can see like you have a home directory like it's not like your normal home directory so this is a directory and this is something with a dot home extension so if I log out of this system And if I check over here, you can see we have a new user. So if we enter the password, we can access that user's like account. So I'm just going to log out again. You can see the user's name is user2 over here. So if I open up the file browser again, you can see like we have this user2 home over here but uh, it's not accessible by any of the other users because for them only this one is visible this one is not so let's log out and i'm going back to my actual user so let me increase my font size so that is that so you can create a user like that. So if you try to access that, 
you cannot access that so you get the idea so you are having more secure implementation of your home directory but if you want to increase the security of your like uh, of this created user there are like uh, some arguments you can use with uh, home ctl command so home ctl update and you can type the username user2 for my case so you can change accordingly and you can set like the basic idea is you use a dash dash and you can set whichever property you want to set so here we are going to give something like shell for example so i can set like shell equals slash user bin i'm sorry bin and csh something like this and i can specify custom like if i need to specify more parameters i just need to add dash dash and again i need to specify the second parameter so if i need like the storage in encrypted format i can use like uh, storage equals lux so if you have uh, linux unified key setup it's going to encrypt your new users home directory so it's different from your like entire disk encryption so unless or until you are like if you are logged out of your system that is like basically if you suspend your system you are going to be logged out unless you have some custom configurations so when you log out this home directory will be encrypted so even if someone managed to take away your laptop they won't be able to access your like home directory information in your home directory then you can specify like dash dash member if uh, you need to make the new user part of uh, some group you can specify dash dash member of equals and you can give like the group name for example if you need to use like um, super user privileges or sudo privileges you can use wheel so if you use wheel and uh, you haven't set up why sudo you are not going to get super user privileges so be careful with that so if you do that this one is going to like update properties so this one is telling us like we are lacking rights so do it sudo so we need to enter password for user2 so now this one will create like uh, an encrypted and uh, that user will be like the user's information will be updated as the user's default shell will be csh that user will be having an encrypted home drive like home uh, directory then he will be a part of the wheel group so if you want to know like information about the user like uh, home ctl have uh, a command for that also like you can use uh, sudo home ctl inspect followed by the username so user2 for my case so it's going to give you all the relevant information about uh, like user2 so it's going to tell you like whether you have like login uid uid so you are going to see like the uid and gid is like uh, not 1000 or something so that's how it's being managed with systemd homed so you're having like looks storage encryption for your home drive so there is like uh, one more thing you can have a removable home drive like a portable home drive like home directory so you can copy this home directory in a usb stick and you can use that in another system just like you are using in one particular system so you can do that but it's a little bit more advanced for this topic so that is that so you get information like your file system and all these things so if you want you can read through that so you can see like the cipher and all these things so let me exit out of that so 
if you don't want such a user like if you want to delete that user for some reason you use like sudo home ctl remove followed by the username but before that let me show you what changes we have done if i log out again and uh, if i log in as user 2 and if i log back in so i'm going to have a finicky resolution over here it's because uh, so you can see like you have a new your default shell has been changed to csh instead of bash so this is like the initial configuration for csh so you may have to do that or you have, you can create something like etc skill so all your users will be having like some configuration written already in their home directory so you can do that so this is your encrypted home directory so you can see permissions and all those things so that is that that's how you use uh, systemd homd so this is like a very basic introduction to that if you want to learn more you can like i will put some links in the description where you can like uh, use this extensively so that's that i hope you all have a wonderful day but uh, before that i have to tell you one more thing i'm sorry so if you want to remove a user you just do to do home ctl and let me increase the font size over here so that will be convenient for you to see so if i type like remove followed by user 2 if i do that it's going to be like instant so you cannot like uh, revert back or something so it's going to delete that user instantly so you have to be very careful when you're dealing with that so if i open up over here inside the home directory you can see we only have one user so everything including the encrypted partition of the user 2 have been deleted so that's that so i hope you all have a wonderful day